All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. I am the Oracle here with some more zodiac readings for the sign of Aries. All right, Aries, in um, honor of Valentine's Day, we're going to do some love readings. So, this could be in regards to your partner, your um, you know, your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend. It could be a crush, it could just anyone who is on your mind. Okay, guys, we're going to look into Actually, we're going to look into what they would want to say to you. We're going to look into maybe their fantasies. Um, yeah, guys. So we're going to jump into this. Before we do, don't forget to show me some love. Like, share, subscribe. Remember, guys, when you send me good energy, I send that good energy back to you. So if you just talk, can you talk shit, throw shade. Dude, I just return to center and off this channel. Remember, guys, you get back what you put out. All right, Aries, let's... Get the person that you have heavy on your mind. Again, it could be uh, a spouse. It could be just a crush. It could be anyone who's on your mind. Okay, your person. What's your go-to way to deal with stress? Which of your dating standards are absolutely non-negotiable? Non okay. So let's start off. All right, Aries, so this could be something that they want to ask you. This could be something that you might want to ask them. And we're just going to get the, uh, the answer, all right, guys? You're going to have to put the energies where they belong. They'll know if this is something that you want to ask them or if they wanted to ask you. We'll get their answer, okay? I just heard, what if it's something that I want to ask? Well, then we're, we're going to get what they would respond, all right? That's what it would be. Oh, uh, go to wait for a stressful day. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so if you're asking what's your go-to uh go to way to deal with st a stressful day? So if you're um dating someone, they could say, like, I'd like to, you know, sex relaxes me. I just <laughs> no. Oh my god. I just I just heard juicy. Juicy. Okay. Um, so yeah, so this person could like to, you know, yeah, with their partner, right? So they that's they could say this is how I like to kinda deal with it. <laughs> Stressful day. Yeah, um, like put away the work, put away the the laptop, the, the phones, just putting everything away and just spending time with their partner. Oh, holding each other. <laughs> it's almost like, okay, so this could be a situation. Let's say you are in a relationship, you know, and you are at least living together. And this person just has to deal with bullshit at work all day. They just want to come home to like warmth, you know? They want to be hugged at night. Um, but this person could, this could be a, uh, maybe this is something that your partner needs to know if you are in a relationship. I'm getting a couple scenarios. This could be, um, coming home from work after a stressful day, dealing with some bullshit at work, right? Coming home, just wanting to be loved and, you know, just wants, this person just wants to, you know, uh, unwind. And they could be also, I'm also getting that they could be coming home and having, a, like, fighting with their partner. And so, like, they're just, all this shit at work, all this shit at home, it's just like, man, everything's cool, I'm, I'm cool. I'm just going to go to bed. Yeah, so this could be something that's going on. And if this is your partner, um, that, you know, comes home really stressed after, you know, having to deal with shit at work, something that you might need to do for them is just, you know, love them. <laughs> you know, where they could have a... Um, they could be in a very fast paced work environment, a lot of competition, a lot of like, I'm almost ruthlessness, 
they're you know ruthless energy at work um so it's like you just want to come home and just you know put all that shit away and just focus on your partner you know that's that's yeah that's spirit saying that's what you need to do you could be like i'm hearing rick james uh do me baby <laughs> when i came home last night you wouldn't make love to me that's yeah she's like hell no i don't want to make love to you <laughs> Damn, Aries. Damn. <laughs> That's like that. That's cold blooded. Rick James. Cold blooded. Damn. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Oh, Aries. 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 If you are in a relationship, I hate to break it, but whatever you have been growing, there could be a third party involved. That's why they didn't want to make love to you because they had someone else earlier that day while you were at work. Damn. Damn, that's fucked up. That's fucked up, that's fucked up. Well, you know, hopefully this will save you for Valentine's Day. So this is your person, they wanna be loved and oh my God, yeah, it's time to walk away, Aries. That's what it's saying. Yeah, Aries. Which of your date? Oh, man. Aries, okay. I want to just drop that shit on you just like that. Oh, Spirit is saying walk away. This, this, oh, you, yeah, this could be a, ooh, Aries. Okay. Spirit is calling your ass out. It could have been a situation where you know that it's time to move away. You have the clarity to move away, but because you, you have so much emotion, it's hard for you to move away. You could have built a lot. You could have built, you have grown a lot in this connection, in this marriage, but this marriage is unstable. Spirit says you have many paths that you have, you get to choose from. You just have to, you know. Stop stressing out about it and just get the clarity that you need. And be okay, you know. Understand that it's it's the fear, the mental fear of, well, I built so much. What am I gonna what am I losing? What am I moving away from? And then on top of that, this there's a lot of emotion tied into this. If it is a marriage, this is probably somebody probably somebody that you have been with for quite some time. You've built a lot with them, you've grown a lot throughout the years. And this could be, you know, this could be stressing you out because you're like, man, I, I work so hard to build this life just to have to walk away from it. But Aries, there could be another person either on your side or on your person's side. On your side or on your person's side, yeah. I don't know which side. I, I didn't really look into that. You will know. You, you will know. But... You've had the clarity that there's, you know, there's been deception. There could have been, there could have been cheating in the past. I, yeah, spirit saying that's the truth. Could have been somebody you worked with. That. Aries, uh, it, again, it, you could have slept with somebody that you worked with. Um, I just got, um, I'm kind of tying that into this, whatever's going on over here. Which of your dating standards is absolutely non-negotiable? Mm. Something about, like, Creating a difficult work environment. This interaction or this, <laughs> you know, this connection that you had at work, it, it's it's going to cause some kind of, um, it is going to cause some kind of burden for someone at work. 
It, I don't know why it, it could be, I don't know. It could be a, somebody, um, somebody wanted to offer, it could be some, oh, sorry, Aries. Um, it could be somebody, a, a new employee maybe, but somebody that you have some kind of romantic it doesn't it doesn't have to be that you've been involved with this person you just could have a lot of emotion for them the person that you slept with though this is this is what's so crazy the person that you mess were messing around with they this person was actually doing magic like you know dark shit to try to keep you from making an offer to this person so they wanted to get you wrapped up in this you know at work to try and keep like boundaries between you and whoever you wanted to offer this cup to that's why I was saying that's the truth So you slept with someone because this person got try to get their hooks in you to try and um, kind of I'm, 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 I'm going to say kind of like dirty you up. They could have known that this person probably would feel some kind of way about you being with them. And they're like, well, if I make them really seem like filthy and I, I don't know why, but it's almost like this person knows that they're like, I, I don't want to be rude. Well, I, you know, I really don't care. This person's trash. This person's dirty, disgusting kind of person. And I'm not saying they physically look like that. They could be very well dressed, very, you know, well kept, but their energy is disgusting. It's filthy. And so it's like getting their that their filthy energy all over it you know this is why you have to be mindful of who you sleep with guys because uh, things attach things attach now i don't know why i wanted to say this this might not apply to some of you probably most of you it's just maybe a handful of you guys this will apply for but i'm talking about um energy exchanging exchange now there's people who will take from others and they they use that energy to to manifest and this kind of person is the kind of person that would that knows this and would hope that you did do that that you would kind of take their energy and because it's tainted their energy is tainted and so they're hoping that you would do that. And so now that they they were able to kind of like, <laughs> I want to say infest your energy, um, they're hoping that that, that, that that was enough to push this person away. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, let's move on from that. Okay. Which of your dating standards is absolutely okay? We have work. Okay, the chariot, the fool. going back to what, what we were just talking about you could have been like well I was hoping that nobody knew that I was with this person
don't know if I'm going to do the fantasy here because <laughs> it just seems really heavy. It doesn't seem very playful kind of energy here, Aries. And remember, if you're just ch checking your sun sign, you might want to watch some of the other ones that I'm going to put out because, you know, your chart makes up different signs, not just, you know, one. Okay, hold on. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're going back. Okay. What are we going to... Let's look at this eight of... Let's just look at this eight of pentacles real quick. You could... Yeah, again, you, you, you made a mistake by sleeping with someone that you worked with. You made the mistake of sleeping with someone that you worked with, yeah. Now you're wondering, will this person even accept my offer? Let's see which direction it goes with the chariot. This is movement forward. How is the movement forward going to look? This person is really paying attention to how you are, how you are, how you interact. This person is going to be very observant. Not, I don't know, it's not like you're not, like, I don't know. It, it's, it's just like how you carry yourself, how you act. This person's going to be very observant. This person will have boundaries up to you in, um, in any kind of romantic or um, just in, ter in terms of their their feelings and emotions for you they're gonna they're gonna have their boundaries up there I don't think they're gonna let you in so quickly because the fact that, I don't know they just don't when being faced with these two energies someone who's very sexual and someone who claims to have a lot of love it's just like the sexual energy just always um, wins so this person's like, yeah, this person can come tell me, I love you. We're going to be forever all they want till they're blue in the face. And I'm not going to, you know, those boundaries aren't coming down. Those boundaries aren't going to come down. The only thing that will bring these boundaries down is observing how you behave. How you interact with people. Are you good with healthy boundaries? If you're not good with healthy boundaries, this person will never trust you. You know, if you're too friendly with all the females, you know, and it, it doesn't even have to be like you're, you're in a relationship and, you know, you're not supposed to be. It's just like, how do you conduct yourself with women or with men? Are you too flirty and friendly? And I don't think the per this person has a problem with that, you know? They're just... You know, they just want to see how you are, and they're gonna make their they're gonna make up their own mind based on how they. This might have to. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is gonna. This is something that, if you want to build any kind of. Uh, connection, romantic connection with this person, something. Uh, long term, if you're considering that, I don't know if you are. Um. I just heard like being around this person like almost like I don't know you want to be around this person a lot they will the only oh demisexual I heard demisexual this person could be a demisexual this person wants to know kind of get to know you on a personal level like almost like friends to know if they even want to consider you as a, a, a relationship because they see you in a very sexual like very strong sexual energy they could think you're very attractive they could also believe that you've had lots of um, 
<laughs> You've had lots of partners. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm laughing is because I'm almost getting like, this guy kind of, he looks beat down, right? And it's, it's, the thing is it like, you could be very gifted in this area. So much that it fucks people in the head, fucks them up in the head. Cause then they do start catching feelings and you have no intention. And so this person could, could, could have seen this side of you and they're like, uh, this could have like, you know, maybe, um, maybe it scared them a little bit <laughs> they're like i don't know there's like yeah i don't like my, my my heart is not safe here so they put up boundaries to you okay so that's at work okay so yeah this is something that god damn guys okay i hope you guys are enjoying this for you okay so that's at work so that's you're gonna have to need yeah yeah worried about your will of fortune okay what's the chariot this is the movement forward right we have okay yeah again with the with the observing how do you interact with these type of females these are females that are very sexy very um uh, they can be very promiscuous too and you know these are the type of women who know you're married but still will try to get at you you know are you how how do you move away or are you going to be dishonest like they they want to know how how do you how do you um interact and how, how are you with these people because if they were if they were to let's say they were to get into a relationship even if it was just like we're gonna date they they wouldn't they wouldn't be able to they would feel like they wouldn't be able to trust you at work that you would be dishonest, being sneaky. So this person's like, I ain't, yeah, I ain't fucking trying to do that. I want to get the wisdom, the clarity, so I know, you know, again, is this person a player so I can end it? I, I ain't trying to fucking play these games, you know? I, I, I've been around that block way too many times. I'm off this hamster wheel. This person's even, you know, the fact that they've even seen that, that they've seen this side of you, but still even are looking your way or you know it says <laughs> looking your way looking your way yeah um they might they might like you know they might have a little soft spot for you for some reason <laughs> i don't know but they're not um they're not um they're definitely not just gonna jump off that cliff they they're watching yeah they're paying attention with the lovers they don't again they're not trying to get into, they know what dealing with this kind of energy has brought them before. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's brought a lot of instability. So this person isn't just going to jump off the cliff with you, you know, just because it's good. You know, I keep hearing that like, yeah, like, <laughs> okay, we're going to move away from that. What's the fool? And taking that chance, getting the clarity on what to do, whether to, to, to move away or move towards something or move away from something. This person could be feeling like there's, there's someone, it could either be you or someone around you in your work environment that is being sneaky and sabotaging this person could have also tried to sabotage this connection in the past not uh, again like I'm hearing, I'm hearing lies something about messages confusing messages sending confusing messages somebody defending themselves Or a heartache. Because somebody, like, almost like this person didn't want anyone to work with this person. 
So they created, or they stopped. Oh, they okay. This I got. I've gotten this message before in other readings about blocked communication. This person, whoever this person is, could have been blocking communication, or or stopping some kind of message from either being sent or being received. Oh, there's a lot of conflict surrounding this empress because of this, trying to stop any kind of forward movement. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's look at this Five of Swords. This King of Wands is feeling very defeated because this King of Wands, again, there's that, there's that King of Cups. This person could have a lot of emotion for someone, but they feel kind of defeated. They feel defeated because they feel like not seeing them in a loving way if anything they're seeing they just see them this way and that that's causing the tower moment that's the tower moment that's why you're feeling defeated you're feeling defeated because of how someone sees you what's the hangman that's how you f hangman what to do about the marriage um, yeah it's a decision needs to be made about a marriage and spirit saying to move away. If you're st go within, the hermit goes talks about withdrawing and going within. You know, needing to find the light, the truth, the clarity. Seeking. Spirit says you already know it's time to move away with the hanged one. Um, look at the investment will still bring good fortune it's almost yeah it's very saying that's the truth it will bring success mm. so in this situation this This is like I, I, this non-negotiable. Uh, what's absolutely non-negotiable is I think um, who you sur like how, who you surround yourself and like who you've been in relationships with before. you guys got something out of this reading man i kind of feel like it was all over the place especially i don't even know if we really answered this question i'm kind of getting this whole you know being around somebody you slept with yeah the cheating cheating absolutely that i will not put up with cheating that's what this person is saying Not put up with cheating. Oh, 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 I see this person. Oh my god, guys, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Yo, okay. So this person's like, I don't put up with fucking cheating. It, it, they feel some kind of way about this person that you work with, right? But Aries, I'm getting that you feel some kind of way too. You're like, I, I, I heard someone's like inner dialogue about, well, that's not fair because everybody, you know, I don't know if you like have like an only fan, only fans or something. You do, you do something online where you know people see you right with the three of pentacles you see she's this one's drawing this one so it's like yeah they, these people they this they 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 see this one it could be something at work like i'm hearing that like well everybody at my job saw you <laughs> Damn! 
okay, okay, this is crazy. Okay, what are you, what are you guys into? <laughs> Damn, okay, that's, that's just what I heard. It's like, why is this an issue? <laughs> you know, on my, like, I don't know, guys. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, they just... I want to go back to uh, reiterate what I was saying, though. Th this person is going to pay attention to how you are with women or with men. You have to, like, this person wants to see that, you, you know, there has to be healthy boundaries. There cannot be any crossing of boundaries, like being too friendly or touchy-feely or, you know, or, oh, come over, let's go have, you know, there has to be clear boundaries. Um especially if this is something that this is someone that you are in physical contact with this situation's a little bit different because i don't think this person has been with anyone that you you know in in this they, they haven't been with anyone but your issue is that everybody has seen this person okay 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 it could be like it could be a job like you know you got paid you know this this could be your job or something yeah, I'm, that's just kind of what I'm getting. You, that's what you, you know, how, how. I want to say this, how, how you, it's not how you make, but how you made. I don't, that, there's a difference, right? It's not how you make, it's how you, how, how made? How you made? Huh? Okay, so this could have been something in the past. Could have been a like a relationship, somebody you shared a home with, that you moved away from. Huh? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's bring it back. Bring it back. Okay. The Knight of Wands, Three of Swords. Yeah, they don't want to be disappointed. They don't want to be let down. Um, they just don't want to be burdened with third parties. Okay, that's that's what it is. Like cheating. What is your non-negotiable cheating? That's this person. Like you cheat once, I'm done. That's what this person's saying. Okay, that's what this person's saying. They this whole work thing is like just. This, if, if, if something makes them uncomfortable, they're going to let you know. That's kind of what I'm getting there. So just don't fuck up. Don't cheat. Because if you do, it's done. Other than that, we, we, we should be cool. Okay. Um. Well, anyways. I don't know. Don't don't take my word for it. You know, ask your ask your person. Okay. Now, on this side, this I'm getting this is your issue, Aries, or person of Aries <laughs> about this like only fans type energy and it doesn't have to be only fans only fans it could be something artistic whatever that is <laughs> but okay so this is this is the issue that Aries has you know, yeah, the high priestess and the two swords. This is not knowing, knowing what's not, what wasn't seen before. Again, with the not knowing, not knowing this King of Wands holding on to someone's money, coming against them, a whole group of people coming against them. This person moved away. Because they 
moved away. They like release this. Aries. So this is why you're concerned about like everybody at work because it could have been somebody that Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay. That's a lot of information. It's like uh, it's taking me in so many different like because again there could have been a lot of people involved. It could have been someone that this person, this person didn't. It's like this is a situation where people know one another and this person did not know that they knew one another. So let's say this person was dating somebody over here and then maybe like a year later they started dating this person over here. They didn't know, this person didn't know that they knew each other. They knew one another. So one of whoever this person that they moved away from and put up boundaries to this person um this person could have been really upset that somebody moved away that this person moved away from them and they I, I'm like again with the work they could have released something for everybody at their work to see That's why this person's like, well, why do you, why do you care who I slept with? Everybody, everybody at, at work. So you go, like, you guys could work together. Everybody at our job saw you. <laughs> Damn. But that's because somebody released something that that this person didn't even. Uh, this person didn't even know they had. This person didn't even know they had. So. If it was like a video or something, this person didn't even know that this person had a video of them like that. And so if when when this person decided to move away, this person got really upset and I'm gonna expose you, blah blah blah. Puts this shit out. Damn. That's crazy, man. Wow. Well, Aries, I hope this brought some kind of clarity. What is the final advice that Spirit has for for um, Aries? We have Will of Fortune. Wish fulfillment, happiness. Then we have the Knight of Wands. I don't like that there. Oh, yeah, well, that makes sense. If you want the, the good fortune, the wish fulfillment, the happy family, you have to kill your player ways. That's just how it is. If you're trying to hold on to something at work, it's going to destroy any good things that you have coming. That's just what it says, Aries. Damn, Aries. All right, well, I hope this brought you some clarity. I hope it helped you in any way that it was supposed to, guys. Don't forget to check out the description box for more information on how to schedule your own personal readings if you feel called to do so. If not, and this is where I leave you, have a great one, Aries.